if I could just get this screw to go in, I don't understand. Oh, let me try a screwdriver. There we go. Everybody, Ryan Gronfen here, author, speaker, chef, restaurant tour, founder of TheRestaurantBoss.com, as well as ClickBacon and ScaleMyRestaurant.com. Now, just like I showed you, you would probably never use a hammer to drive a screw, and you would never use a screwdriver to drive a nail. Well, what does this have to do with your restaurant financials? A lot of times I see people trying to get KPIs, key performance indicators, out of their accounting software, or I see people trying to use KPI tools to get accounting information. And they're two totally different tools. Now, they don't have to be. There are some very expensive solutions out there that do a great job of combining them together. But for most independent restaurant operators out there, I consider independence to be one to five units doing one to five million per location. For most of you out there, these should be looked at as two separate tasks. Now, first, accounting. When I think of accounting, accounting is designed to do two things in my opinion. The first is let you know how much money you owe the government at the end of the year. That's the purpose of accounting. Now, accounting follows something called GAAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. And there are some generally accepted accounting rules, accounting principles that we're all supposed to follow. They change a little bit from country to country and state to state. But for the most part, there's a generally accepted way of accounting that the world accepts. And your government accepts that. And you have to follow those rules so at the end of the year, you can write a check to the government for a certain amount of money. Now, the second reason or the second purpose of accounting is so if the government doesn't believe that you paid them enough money and they audit you, you can go back to your accounting records following the generally accepted accounting principles and prove to them that what you paid was right or they'll prove that what you paid was wrong either way. But without an accounting tool that follows those rules, you have no way to know what you owe them and to defend your position should they believe it's wrong. That's about it. Now, of course, the argument can be made for many, many, many other reasons for accounting software. But to keep this simple, that's about it. Hey, everybody. We just need to take a moment here and thank Radiant Digital Signage for sponsoring this video. With sponsors like Radiant and with all of you out there watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing these videos, we're able to keep bringing you more of these amazing training videos at absolutely no cost. You know, If you're looking for a digital signage solution for your restaurant, and when I say signage, I don't just mean menus, but I mean full signage. I mean advertising, promotions, uh, checklists, digital kiosks, of course, menu, but with Radiant, you can do all of that so easily. As you can see, all you need to do is take this little guy right here, plug it into the back of any TV, and then with your subscription to Radiant, you have access to maybe hundreds of thousands, definitely tens of thousands of templates for menus and advertisements and commercials. And you could import any of your media and you can take their media. It's just absolutely incredible as you can see what you're able to do with such an amazing and simple solution. So with everything going on these days with handing out paper menus and not using permanent menus and QR codes and everything else, now is the perfect time to make a switch to a digital sign solution that is going to be absolutely easy enough for you to do yourself. Actually, if you wanna take a look at a video, just click the link up there where you can register to get some special pricing and watch a video where I worked with one of the Radiant specialists to get my TV set up, build a menu, and push it live to the television in about 10 minutes, maybe even less. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it, and they have an amazing team of support to help you out there. So please click on that link above and check out Radiant Digital Signage. And don't forget to let them know that the restaurant boss sent you so you can get our special pricing. Now, to operate your restaurant, this is where you need some sort of a dashboard or a scoreboard to measure KPIs, key performance indicators. Now, 
you could get, let's say, your food cost, your cost of goods sold, which is a very popular and highly important KPI for restaurants, you could use one of the more popular accounting tools like QuickBooks Online or Xero or any other of the accounting tools to get your cost of goods sold. But you have to do some very complex daily entries and a lot of really complicated setup to make it work in that manner. It's just not designed for that. It's not designed to be a restaurant KPI tool. Same thing, you could get your labor cost out of QuickBooks, but it's very complicated. I've worked with some clients, we've hired QuickBooks consultants, we've spent a lot of money, and we've turned QuickBooks into a pretty powerful KPI tool, but it's just not designed for that out of the box. It requires a lot of setup and a lot of daily entries. Instead, what I suggest is use accounting tools and keep it as basic as possible to do your accounting. Then use specific tools, whether it be some sort of a dashboard or even an Excel spreadsheet to get your specific KPIs for your restaurant. Now, I used to use Excel when I was operating restaurants over 10 years ago, but when I started working with clients and consulting, I developed a software tool called ClickBacon, which you can check out. We'll put a link to it up here or up here or down there or somewhere. Um, but ClickBacon is a specific restaurant accounting tool. It's a dashboard designed to measure what I believe are the six most important KPIs in your restaurant. And other people might have different KPIs. And if that's the case, maybe there's a different dashboard that works for you. Or again, maybe you can use Excel. The challenge with Excel is that it requires a lot of customizing and it's sometimes complicated and ugly, but it does a pretty good job. And I work with a lot of clients that are still using Excel. But the most important thing I wanted to share in this video is that you don't use a hammer to drive a screw into a piece of wood and you wouldn't use a screwdriver to drive a nail into a piece of wood. Stop trying to use your accounting tool to get you the KPIs, the key performance indicators that you need in your restaurant, and stop trying to use a KPI tool to handle your accounting. They're two separate functions and require two separate tools for most of you out there. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I look forward to bringing you another one just like this next week. I love all of you crazy restaurant operators out there and remember, systems create freedom, freedom creates value, and value creates scale. Have an amazing day. Are you struggling to grow your restaurant business? Are you failing to find the time to do all the things you need to do because you're stuck doing everybody else's jobs? This sucks. I know, I've been there. You're not alone. The difference between where you are now and where you wanna be is a plan and some new tools. And that is why I created Scale. It's my newest course for restaurant owners who wanna grow their businesses and build an extraordinary brand. Learn more at scalemyrestaurant.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people, and be awesome.